told you, huh? Who? Nathan, he told y'all. He came to my house and fucked me and went through. Wait, so you did do it? Look, Angela, I wasn't trying to hurt her, okay? <gasps> wow, that is some low down, dirty shit, Belinda. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, EJ, and welcome back to the channel. Now, today, we're talking Zatima Season 2B, Episodes 13 and 14. This is going to be my quick thoughts, first impressions over the episodes, and you already know this episode starts right where the last one left off, and that's what your boy, Zach, you know, he's in the bed, and then Zatima comes in, and they're getting it in, and turns out it was all a dream, you know? <laughs> Simple as that. So he's dreaming about her, but in some weird way, something happened and he's she's like say my name or what's my name and he says Fatima and she's like no that's my not my name and he's like what's your name and then she's like Bryce and I'm just like what in the ham sandwich just happened so anyway y'all he's gonna wake up and Bryce is actually calling him so I thought that was a really interesting way to open up the episode but I am glad that this was actually a dream now we are going to end up seeing that Bryce is still trying to hound Zach on trying to get this property he just will not take no for an answer he's really irritating to be honest but anywho uh, we are also going to have a part where we're going to see Zatima and Paul. You know, I said Zatima, y'all. I did it. We're going to see Fatima and Paul. And Paul apparently stayed the night. He's there and clearly wasn't no action going on for him. And apparently Fatima was dreaming about Zach. She was calling his name out. And at this point, it feels like your boy Paul is just ready to concede. I mean, I really don't blame him at this point. It's just time to let it go and let her figure it out. He even says that he knows that she's using him, but he doesn't mind being used. But at some point, you know how, you know, at some point it has to end. He can't continue to be with her, seeing what it's like to be with her what the potential could be to be with her seeing that she's such a special you know woman and such a rare woman and then he basically can't be with her like that's hurtful to him and so he needs to step back now for a second child I was like wait a minute Paul what you finna do what you finna say and you know how my girl uh Tamika always say they send the representative and I was like is he sending the representative like was that what this was the entire time but it turns out it actually wasn't even like that at all they're actually Actually going to be a couple of moments where I was side eyeing Paul a little bit, but turns out, you know, I, you know, it's a little too quick to judge, but you know, it is what it is. Now, uh, we are going to see that, you know, uh, Zach is going to get invited to dinner, uh, first and foremost by the dad. He wants him to come over and have dinner. And I may be jumping around, guys, because we're talking about both episodes in a whole, but these are just kind of some of the things that stood out to me, some of my moments that I. Um, you know, I just want to have a little conversation about. So I thought that was interesting that the dad and the mom are really uh, invested in trying to get these two together in the same room because they want to talk to them and they want to have a conversation with them. And I guess they see something in them, you know, moving on to the dinner part. The dinner part was actually a really good scene. We see where the mom did used to be. I knew she used to be hood, y'all. I knew it. But we did see where the mom used to, you know, be a little hood. And she she had a thing for a bad boy as well, who was Fatima's father, who at some point, I can't remember exactly when, but we do know that, uh, of course, that Fatima's father is how she's related to Madam, just in case anybody cared. But anywho, um, so we they have that conversation and, he's, and the father talks about how the mom had an affair and how they had to work it out, how, you know, basically people are going to have trials and tribulations, but you have to be able to go through the trials in order to get through all the mucky stuff, in order to get through all the bad stuff, in order to get to the end, to the good side of it. And I thought that was a really great conversation for them to have, because that's kind of what, you know, Fatima needed to hear. That's what Zach needed to hear. But at the same time, I feel like Zach also still needs to understand that Fatima has to take her time with this. She has to be able to trust him. He has to earn her trust back he has to earn her respect back and this all starts with him working on himself first and getting himself together so that he can be the man that you know he needs to be for her when she does come back because we know she's coming back I mean the name of the show is the team of for crying out loud so it will happen but it needs to happen you know all in due time so another uh, major thing that kind of stuck out to me was uh, on the I believe this was the the second episode episode 14 when uh, we're going to meet 
Paul's ex-wife, you know, and we've actually already met her before, but Zach thinks he has like an aha moment. He's like, oh yeah, he married, but turns out Paul wasn't married at all. Turns out they're actually divorced, but for whatever reason, I guess they still have this weird kind of thing. She calls him honey. I guess maybe he calls her honey too. I don't know y'all. Like that's why I was giving Paul the side eye, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, but you know, he tells him the truth. He's like, I don't have anything to hide. You know, this is my ex and, you know, we get along. So, you know, there's that. So I thought that was interesting. I also thought it was interesting that Bryce keeps trying to push this property and that he really doesn't have the funds either. We know that Zach says he only has $1.5 million left. I mean, this money is <laughs> going pretty quickly. So Zach knows that he needs to keep you know, as much money as he can in order to sustain his lifestyle. And maybe this investment is not the right thing for them right now. But for whatever reason, Bryce just keeps trying to push it and push it and push it. It's just very irritating. Now, another major thing that happened and another thing that stood out in this episode was Belinda finally has to come clean about everything. She's been lying and lying to everybody about her creating this fake profile, but her friend calls her out on it and she has to tell the truth. Now, of course, this is after Nate has already looked through her computer and found out the information and learned that she was indeed the one who did it. But what kind of sick psycho person do you have to be to do that to your friend? If this is your friend, if this is somebody you care about that you love, why would you do that to them? No matter how mad you are at them, why would you go and create a fake profile and create a fake narrative? Like that was just so crazy to me. Like Belinda needs some therapy too, y'all. Like everybody needs needs therapy at this point. And Angela needs therapy too for the simple fact that she is actually considering thinking about going back to Bryce. Now listen, I ain't got no, no problems with Bryce at all, but she's the one who said that this is not something that she wanted. So if it's not something that you want, then why try to go backwards? Like why do that? What, what's the point if you know that that is not the type of relationship that you want to be in? Not know, you know, <laughs> Y'all get it. I'm just saying, like, what is the point of that all? But, you know, this is the moments that she's having. So we just going to let her have these moments. Now, of course, there are a few moments that also stood out where Zach is trying to put some boundaries up and where he's trying to let Nate know that, bruh, you just you just not doing right and that I need you to be a better friend, you know. So I, I do appreciate that. Um I mean, Nate is just trash, and I don't think that's ever going to change for me. Now, there is also a moment where Deja actually does serve uh, Fatima. Now, I don't know if this is because, you know, she was already serving her. So I don't know if she just didn't take it back after her and Nate had their little talk and it was just already in motion or exactly what it was. But whatever the case is, this is going to be interesting because Fatima, you know, has already got her somebody looking into it and they're going to basically try to find some dirt on her because she worked at the strip club. So if you at the strip club and you up there swinging on them poles, how the hell are you going to say that you hurt? You know, like, come on, Deja, like, let's <laughs> let's just make this make sense. Let's just do right. So those were some of the major things that happened in this particular episode. Um, of course, we at the end of the last episode, we're going to see that Connie is going to come up. And of course, this is when she has on that green shirt. So we already know from the trailer that that is the same shirt that she had on when we find out that Zach's mom is in a coma. So I am assuming that that is exactly where we're about to go on the next episode is into when, you know, Zach's mom is in the coma. So this is going to be interesting to see because Zach is already so full of emotion, but to have his mom in a situation like this we're really going to get to see a lot more uh of where zach is and how he's going to handle it who is he going to turn to what is he going to do this time is he going to allow fatima to be there for him will fatima be there for him you know just so many questions that we can answer and that i can't wait to see on this next episode but you guys already know that we're going to be talking about episodes 13 and 14 in detail uh on tuesday at nine o'clock central not central time at nine o'clock eastern time my bad 
uh, Tamika Zen and I will be doing our Zatima live conversation. So definitely come out and hang out with us. Let us know what you're thinking uh, regarding this particular episode. Meanwhile, go ahead and get the conversation started down below. Go ahead and tell us everything that you think about the episode, what you felt about Zach, what you felt about the Tima, et cetera, et cetera. Even old Nate, old shysty self, even him and Belinda, because they both full of it. But anyway, guys, if you like the video, make sure to go ahead and like, share, and subscribe to your channel. Turn on your notifications so that you do not miss out on any of my future Zatima talk. Meanwhile, YouTube says that you might like this video next. So go ahead and take a look. Until next time, guys. Peace. It was just a love bomb. Really wish it didn't push me away. I was willing to try long as it takes. I would never say we were a mistake, but fleeting romance doesn't allow.